Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 84 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today we're back for a bonus episode. Today it's my day off. I get to play a little bit extra today. I just had a lot of business I had to take care of today. Uh, so it's time to sit and relax <laughs> and have some fun and i just came up uh with something really awesome that i want to do so let's go do it uh <laughs> oops the sun went down so let's go ahead and sleep dun, 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 dun. so uh, last episode we got the Wither Builder made and I went and I got it placed where I want it. I just need to hook that into my system. Uh, so what I want to do is head on down to uh, the area. I need, I gotta go down the... <laughs> I like the travel anchors. It's a really convenient way to get around, but sometimes with the, when you get them really close together, uh, they kind of skip, uh, you kind of skip um, destination points if there's another one on the other side of it. So anytime I'm looking down to the iron farm, and I click to go on the iron farm, I actually go down to the amethyst farm. And then when I look up at the iron farm, I don't go to the iron farm. I go all the way up to the ground floor. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of frustrating to not be able to go to my desired location. Uh, so I might try a different teleportation device. I know there's another one. Um, Let's see, teleportation. Um, there is the mechanism. Now that we've got mechanism, I use these teleporters in my ocean block. Those work great. You just go to one of them and you can teleport anywhere that has another teleporter. So that is pretty cool. Oh. And there's a device. I thought there was a device for it, though. Um, let's do that mech. Where is it? Is it down further? Wow. They have lots of stuff. Uh, so... These are the fission reactors. Where's the teleporter block? Is it like a mechanism add-on or something? I'm I just uh ocean block my ocean block was the first time I really went in deep with uh oh with mechanism. I you know, so I'm not really familiar with all the ins and outs of mechanism. So that's the yeah here's the teleporter frame i was just hoping to see uh if there was a device of some sort that you could teleport around there's energy tablet network reader seismic reader anyway i'm not going to worry about that i will look into some more ways to teleport around see what i can come up with Right now, I want to get this uh, wither builder automated. And I cleaned out a little area underneath here just to place this guy. So we need to get him power. Um, dude, okay, so I brought a network transmitter. Uh-oh. I need to place the network trans receiver. Uh, hook the card up to it. Oop. Okay, and we can even put our wireless uh, transmitter there. Um, and we have to take these back 
and hook them into the system. So let's go let's go do that. I should be able to get up there fairly easily. There we go, ground level. Oh uh, see, I was aiming at the ground level and I wound up over here at the tire factory. It's a little bit it's a little bit frustrating. It's it's teleportation with uh, random features of getting an extra teleport in <laughs> for free. So for free. Uh, where do I want to put this guy? I guess I could put it right there. That will work. Uh, and that will go in. And then we're groovy. See, see, watch. Iron level. Amethyst farm. <laughs> Iron level. I'm at the ground level. So it just goes right past it. Uh, I kind of wish I hadn't put the amethyst level down there, but you know, I am. I, might, I like being able to go down there, but it's just not working the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so now uh, we should be able to access control G. Nice. <laughs> uh, so now we have access to our system through that block and we can, what I want to do is I want to, I want to place the chest down and have uh, the chest pull out or have a pipe pull out of the chest and insert into here uh, for the soul sand the wither skulls and then just ha actually I don't need any cables at all because look at this we we'll put our crafter down like that throw this guy in here <laughs> and we'll hook up a pipe oh wait I got pipes in my bag oh I don't have item pipes I don't have an item pipe. You know what would be perfect for it though? It's just to put a node there. That's probably why I don't have pipes. Uh, well, if I'd known that, I would have uh, go right to the dire factory and get a node. And I have some cards on me. We got, we got tons of nodes here. Oh, you know what? I'm crazy because I put the network transmitter down there and I didn't even use it. <laughs> I could have done that from all the way over there. Oh, I'm so silly sometimes. I'm so excited because I, if I set this up right, I should be able to request nether stars. <laughs> nether stars on demand is what I want. Uh, so let's put the node in. Boop. And I want to set this up to where this will uh, pull from the bottom. And this one pull from the bottom. Uh, okay, so both of those are set to the same location. And no, we just want this, I guess, on. Uh, so anytime I ask for it, it will be ready. And we just need to now get my point. Start, go, and with the, the crafters. Ooh. So this, I don't want to add anything to the extreme reactor uh, because it is currently doing my one laser drill, and that's all it, the juice it's got. It's enough to run my one laser drill with twelve mining lasers, uh, or with twelve laser drills on the or laser base. So we're going to put this one on the base reactor uh, because I have extra power on that. So there we go. 
should be getting power now. You know why you don't get power? There it goes. Oh, it must be. It's not. That just seems very sporadic at the, the power levels, so. But it's filling up now. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's anything I would want to put into here. Uh, so, but what I want to do is get this set up. So we're going to need an insert card and an extract card. So I have my little card holder here. So... Let's do this. That's up. We want it to insert. So just put a card, have it insert. Uh, Redstone ignore. It's just going to insert everything. And the only things that go into the chest should automatically go into uh, the machine. <laughs> so I shouldn't really have to filter anything either. Just tell it to extract. Let's do extract. Uh, one at a time because there's only putting one in each slot. So I don't know that having multiples will do that. Uh, so it looks visibly connected. So yeah, uh, to test this out, we're going to say nether star so now i have the craft in there so when i request this it should send four soul sand and three wither skeleton skulls to the chest and the chest should automatically just fill it up and it should summon a wither potentially uh looks like it did the thing doing the thing Oh, it did the thing. Yes. <laughs> oh. Now, I, I mean, I could potentially ask for like a hundred of these, but it's going to take it a while uh, to summon them all. Oh, I, I need to get, I guess, uh, I need to get just to put a, an ender chest on top of here uh, so that anything that this guy picks up just goes straight into the system uh, because I want to be able to, to access it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the ender chest to ender chest. Uh, yeah, I'll have to undie that. So let's get die die oh and <laughs> that's really frustrating to get the bug where i can't get stuff out of it so i can be up there in my base chilling out relaxing summon a nether or request a nether star and it'll send all the stuff over here i'll be way up there i won't be able to hear it or see it and everything will be great <laughs> So if I just put this on there now, put that in there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like this. So let's do this. <laughs> we got everything set up. I should be able to come up here, chill out, be relaxing in my dire wolf factory, and come over here and go, oh gee. I would like another star, uh, but I am fresh out. So give me 10, <laughs> I want 10 nether stars and they should just roll in automatically. <laughs> that is the plan anyway. So. Uh, oh, look, you can see the the Wither Boss uh, name tag up there. Oh, look, there's another one. Nice. It's just doing all the summonings. Uh, so I should be able to see some more in there now. Oh, yeah. 
got another star, two nether stars. <laughs> Yay! So this way I can control um, the output and the input. Um, a lot of the times I try to set it up to where it's just constantly going, but it's a real hassle to constantly be having uh, to to make sure I have enough wither skeleton skulls and constantly being able to make sure that I have enough soul sand. So this way I can do those things manually until I can get them automated and just have it uh, have it make them on demand. Oh, I like that much better. This was much easier to set up than trying to keep it running all the time. Uh, now I can just get what I need or what I want and you know and relax and chill out so um yeah I thought that would take a lot longer to set up I mean I probably spent more time setting up the network transmitter than the rest of it so uh, maybe we can start requesting some uh an, another ore laser base and some more drills and maybe try to set that up in the nether and i really want to spend some time in the nether working on like a nether base a secure nether base i mean because you can make it to where mobs can't spawn if you're you know creative about it um i wonder if uh, I, like I asked for 10, I wonder if they got sort of uh, jumbled up and uh, didn't finish it. Uh, that would that would be kind of sad that they didn't get placed properly. Um, what might have happened is that it placed the blocks while while the other one was being summoned so that um, when he did his little explosion it may have destroyed some of the blocks <clears throat> yeah see there's some extra skulls in here so some of the soul sand must have gotten destroyed so sad face uh and and uh so if there was enough for 10 sent over there and we only got seven <laughs> there should have been nine skulls so we're missing four skulls and three uh 12 soul sand so some of that got mixed up. Um, maybe there's a way, maybe if I do, no, that wouldn't work. I could probably just have it, uh, Now, I don't know how I would do that because as soon as it gets the items in, it will place them. Is there, are there any blocks placed right now? No. Okay. Uh, so it would be best to do, to do them one at a time rather than like 10 at a time. I mean, I could probably set it up to... I don't know how we would uh, even go about having it only do one at a time, but I can request them one at a time and I can do the 10 at a time as long as I realize that I'm probably only going to get seven out of it. I, I still think that's a fair trade off. 10 sets of items for seven nether stars, you know. <laughs> I still think that's a pretty a pretty good deal, man. <laughs> uh, so good times. Let's see about doing uh, 
put two back in. Oops. Put up. Uh, yeah, an ore, or laser base. Boop. We need one of those. Um, another thing that I also want to work on, I'm probably going to be streaming uh, later on tonight as well. I don't, I want that one. Uh, so I'll probably try and build another compact machine and put a bigger uh, a bigger reactor in it so I can run more laser drills on on my miner and and potentially run another miner in the nether that's what I'm hoping for but I don't know exactly how much power that's going to consume having 36 laser drills on one or laser. Uh, but I'm willing to find out. <laughs> I'm willing to find out. Um, hopefully it won't take too, too many. So let's get at least just the base uh, four laser drills. Um, so laser drill, two more. I love being able to get these uh, automatically because uh, making those machine frames is painful having that automated it's so good it's so so good <laughs> so we'll need power so we need a point boop, and a boop uh, there's our power and we'll need Cables. Oh, look at that. I will need some cables. I need to, I need to automate this, but I want to automate steel. Now I already have a way to get steel through immersive engineering. So what I was thinking of is that I would sometime eventually set up a network transmitter over there uh, and just tell it to send charcoal and uh, iron over to there and it turns into steel. So like one iron and four charcoal will equal one steel. Just do an auto crafter like that and it will send it to the chest and everything will be fine. <laughs> it just takes a lot longer. So there we go. Just need some more cables. Uh, we need ender chest because we definitely want to want to get the stuff back to the base. And I need that last die. Die that. Okay, we don't really need a network transmitter for this uh, because everything's going to, the power is going to come in through the flux point. All the items are going to go into the ender chest. So this should be pretty easy to set up. My only issue is um, <laughs> I need this to be secure and not get blown up by like a gas uh you know because that would that would kind of suck uh, really it would be really really bad uh so i might spend some time in between episodes uh securing securing the nether <laughs> uh and at least like getting the area with the the nature's infusion aura uh that the i guess uh what would you call that a monument type thing <laughs> uh get those those things secured or i don't know but i definitely want these protected so it will be a good time
All right. Um, oh, a lens. We need lenses for this. And uh, we'll also need some, some upgrades. Uh, but I can do that. I can do that after, I guess. I don't have time to do all of it, though. So, do 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 do. Going to the nether. Oh yeah, the lenses. Um, I think all you can get in the nether is going to be like quartz. Is it? I don't know. Uh, let's see, building gadget. C to G. Uh, yeah, horizontal column with a range. We can do R to change the range. Um, actually, I don't want the column. I want the horizontal wall. That's what I want. That's what I want right there. Oop. Yeah. I just want to increase my area over here a bit. Give me some more. Oh, this has to go all the way to bedrock. I wonder how that's going to happen. Uh, I don't know. Like it won't even work. Uh, right. Let's do this it up a little bit. I need some light. It's so dark over here. Okay, so drill, drill. Or, I don't know, I, like, I thought it had to go to bedrock, I, but I haven't really read, I haven't read the manual on that, so I don't know if that's changed. Oh, dude, that's not what I wanted. I mean, I could probably dig pretty far with this. Ugh. So, I don't know, let's, let's look. I got the book for uh, just real going. There we go. Just real foregoing. Resource production. Laser drill uh, or laser base. When fully charged with a laser drill, it will produce ores. Each ore that can produce has a weight based in the biome the machine is placed in and the depth the machine is configured to mine in. Okay, it does not say anything about having to have uh, access to bedrock. Okay, so we're just, I'm just going to set it up and see what happens. So let's put the ender chest up. Get the wrench out uh, to spin these around. Oh, it looks like it's uh, connecting to it. Oh, um, the way you can verify whether or not these work, you can turn on the show working area around this guy, but you can't see it. I guess this is not implemented yet, but normally it would show like a three by three area in front of it. I think I remember that being a thing. Okay, we gotta spin you around, buddy. There we 
go. And that looks like all four of them good to go. And I will go ahead and set the power up on the outside uh, just in case I decide to add more laser drills to this thing. <laughs> Uh, so I'll just make a big O square, big O square, all the way around. Uh, now my plan is to fortify this to make it a big uh, area uh, that is made with a block that cannot be spawned on such so, like if you replace all of these blocks with glass mobs can't spawn on it not even soft pigment so that should keep our base nice and safe uh, and if we need to we can put glass on top of everything so nothing can spawn on top of it too so that should help <laughs> i can just Put, uh, and then I can put walls around it and a ceiling, and then everything will be fine. <laughs> so let's get our power hooked up to this thing. Um, also, I need to... Uh, we want this... Ooh, that's right. This is going to take more power. I don't know that I'll have enough power to run this. Because this one is using 3,000 of the 3,200 that I'm getting. And this one's using several thousand of the 3,200. So oh, I'm going to put it on that one. And then I'll definitely need to get more power as soon as possible. Uh, are you coming in? see oh see i need those upgrades pronto because look how long this is taking oh man <laughs> that's taking forever plus i want to go down to depth of 15 because i believe that's the best chance to get the ancient debris there we go and we want the output to get pushed out the top I think that's, that's all we need. Awesome. I want to see what it gets in here and verify that it's going up into the ender chest. There we go. I saw something come in. I didn't see what it was. It looked like maybe some type of berry. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, but yeah, we got it going. I'm going to spend some time getting upgrades into these machines and then probably go right into getting a bigger big reactor. <laughs> a bigger passive big reactor. I'm not yet ready for uh, the active cooling yet. Still got some... Uh, some stuff to do before you can get into uh, into those kind of reactors. I gotta get process the cyanide and gotta set up a multi-block structure for that as well. So I don't really have a place designated where I want to build this thing. Um, and it it kind of is taking the fun out of it just building everything in the compact machines you know i want to kind of build uh an area a building for it and and i don't know it just seems more fun to me that way so yes we got the nether quarry going we got the wither on demand with this uh nether star on demand uh so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!